Hello, my lovely crafters. This is Crafty Sue 519 Welcome to my channel and welcome to my Saturday mishmash. Well, I really have a mishmash today because that's just what I do. I got a little piece of happy mail. Just put a little wood heart on there to mail it. I'm surprised it went through. But I heard that the post office is getting better about envelopes that if it's a little thicker than usual where they used to charge you a package fee they're not going to do that anymore they're just going to add a little bit of postage to the envelope which is a godsend because we can send tons in an envelope and not have to pay a package fee so something to look forward to and positive news Alrighty, this is from my friend amy fordyce and she sent me a cute little Valentine card she made. And it says, love is not what you say, love is what you do. And she just put happy Valentine's Day, Amy, inside 2022. So cute. Thank you so much, Amy. Thank you so much. Wasn't expecting that. It was a very, very nice surprise. Now, I think some of you, but perhaps not all of you know, that on Friday nights by Mimi with Love and Melody Maid does a bingo game. It's a lot of fun. A lot of ladies come. I think every, every Friday there's over 40 of us on there watching uh, bingo and seeing if we win any prizes. And uh, this week I donated a prize for them to give away. And I'll show you what it is. I don't remember who my winner is. Mimi will text me on Monday with her address and I will mail this all out to her. But I was at Dollar Tree the other day and they had a ton of Valentine's stuff at this particular store. Just tons of stuff. I couldn't believe it. They were overstocked. The craft department was overstocked. I, I couldn't believe it. But I thought I'd pick up some Valentine's things and donate them for the bingo game. So I got these cute heart stickers. I thought they were different. Not the typical thing. Got these cute little treat bags. How cute are those? And then they had felt hearts. And then of course the table scatter, but they're the glitter hearts. They had this heart confetti, which I like a lot, so I bought one for me, too. <laughs> I just kind of like it. I like the little hearts. I would use them on cards, actually. And then they had the twine in Valentine colors. So these are all things I'm donating. And they had these cute little Nomi Valentine socks. Look how cute they are. I bought myself a pair of these, too. And, of course, it wouldn't be Valentine's Day without a box of chocolates. And then I made two of my Valentine cards that the winner can use for whomever. This is the one I made in the video that was titled, Let's Make a Valentine Card. So I'm giving her that one. And then I made another one the same style. Um, so she has two Valentine's cards that she can give out. So that's my prize for whoever won that particular bingo game. So, if you're sitting around on a Friday night and you don't know what to do, 7 o'clock, look for either um, Melody Made. It's going to be Melody Made this Friday because Mimi is actually traveling to see Melody on Friday. So they're going to have a crazy couple of weeks together. So that's some of the stuff I got from Dollar Tree. And then I'm going out of town in three weeks for a little over two weeks. Um, so I decided <laughs> to buy a ton of yarn to take with me so I can stop working on my hat not hate hats like I made last year to donate to the bullying campaign on Lion Brand Yarn. And this is all Dollar Tree. Oh, this is so, 
soft. I almost stuck my face in the camera because I love it against my face. As they say, it's scarfable. It's so soft. I love this yarn. So for a dollar, well, probably a dollar twenty-five now. But heck, look at all the hats I can make. They have to be blue. That's why I have all blue here. That's the color for their program. So more blue yarn. I'm just gonna buy up all the Dollar Tree blue yarn I can find for that because it keeps the price down for me and keeps me busy. So I figure I can crochet on the plane. It's a three hour plane ride up to Rhode Island um, where they are having a blizzard right now. I did call my oldest son and he said they're doing okay. They sent me, I can't show you the pictures because they're on my phone and I'm using my phone. Um, they did send me a picture of the snow falling in their yard and I had to laugh because my daughter-in-law opened the front door to let their little dog out. <laughs> and it's very windy with this blizzard and it's blowing the snow up against the door. So when she opened the door, she had maybe a good eight inches of snow. <laughs> Taller than the dog. It was so funny. The dog took one look at it and turned around and ran in the other direction. <laughs> that was so cute. Just so cute. Oh, I'm excited to see them. Excited to see them. So as you know, I've been working on my needle, my cross stitch. And I'm just about done with the cross stitch. All I have left is this light blue color, and I'll finish that up today in a couple of French knots, and this will be done. Then what I will be doing is taking black floss and outlining everything so it gives it a pretty finished look. The one thing with this kit I found is they didn't have enough yellow floss. I have six stitches left in this corner that I did not have any floss for. So I went and I dug out all of my DMC floss I had from years and years ago to see if I could match a color. And I can't match it. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't have anything. The yellows are too bright. And I just may have to go with that. I just may have to go with this yellow and finish those last few stitches. I don't know, but I was disappointed in that, that that when I have plenty of floss for everything else, but the yellow was just, just short. So this is all my floss from when I used to cross stitch many, many years ago. My tiny little hoop, isn't that cute? because I like to make Christmas ornaments and things like that that I cross-stitched. Leave it in there, some of my old needles. Apparently I started making something and it was probably this. And it's a snail because I had made snail ornaments. I used to belong, before I did YouTube, I belonged to a group called the Snail Mailers. Snail Mailers. And it was a bunch of women who crafted and um, I think it was a Facebook page. I'm, I don't remember now. Um, unfortunately, the lady who started the group passed away in her sleep one night, very unexpectedly. And a couple other ladies passed away. It was really sad. It was really sad. So I don't even know if the group is still growing. I dropped out and started YouTube. So I will get that finished. So hopefully I am done with that next week. And that's it. That's all I got for you. And I have to make my hat. I'm gonna try to make my hat this week um, to go to Rhode Island because if they're having a blizzard today, I know when we had that giant blizzard of 78, 1978, oh my gosh. We got five feet of snow, five feet of snow. We had a Chevy Blazer parked out in the yard and it was covered by snow because of course the wind blows and it, you know, makes all those big snow banks and everything. The car was gone. You couldn't even see cars. They were just covered in snow. It, there was so much snow that 
they had to have snow trucks come down from Buffalo, New York, because we just didn't have the equipment to be able to get out of it. That would be a good Tuesday, Tea Tuesday story. I think I'll tell that one. But anyhow, to any of you in Rhode Island or New England that are uh, having this blizzard today, enjoy it. Look out your window. It's so beautiful. That snow falling. If you have a fireplace, make a fire. Get nice and cozy. And have a wonderful day. I wish you all a very, very good weekend. And until next time, love yous. Bye.